So, Lear, welcome back. It's been over a year since your last fight. Uh, just how have you been dealing with this layoff? Has it been frustrating? Have you been anxious to compete again? What's been the range of emotions over the past year plus? Well, my year plus, I had some injuries that I had to uh, deal with. So I had some surgeries and re rehabilitation. So it took took the time that I had to to uh, to have to to get back on my feet again. So it feels be nice being back now in the octagon and, and fighting. So can't uh, wait for it. Yeah, and it seems like you've been, you know, you're, you're trying to get on some earlier cards, right? And there was just some issues with opponents, all that kind of thing. You've been healthy for a little while waiting to get back in there, right? Yeah, I was supposed to fight in July, but Lil Nog got injured. So that was uh, the fight that I was preparing for. And then we had to make new plans fighting later this year. So, yeah, but so everything is good, so. So is it disappointing though a little bit going from Lil Nog, you know, a lot of people consider him a legend of the sport to a guy who's really a fresh face in the UFC, only two fights, not many people know him? You know what, I think like all the fighters that fight in the UFC are top level athletes, you know, they're, they're world fighters and everybody is, is a tough opponent there. So it doesn't matter if you're a UFC champ or a, de a debut fighter, you know, everybody's here to win and become the best. What have you made of Tyson just so far? You know, two UFC fights, two pretty quick first round finishes. Uh, are you impressed by what he's done or what do you make of him? Do you think, you know, maybe he hasn't ran into someone you like, like you yet? What do you think? He's a young, you know, upcoming fighter. Uh, he's done a good job, you know, in the UFC. So let's see, you know, it's, uh, it's early to, to say any, anything more. But what, what he's delivered is good. So, yeah, for sure. What do you just think about this division right now? Like when you look at your future and trying to move forward, so much uncertainty around John Jones. We're waiting to find out exactly what's going on there. Uh, how do you just look ahead and kind of plan for making a run at the belt or these kind of things when there's just so much going on? You know, uh, all divisions have these periods when there are like a lot of turbulence in, in the division. You don't know what's going to happen, but uh, you, you see a lot of good fighters now coming in the division, getting up and. Whether John Jones is there or is not, uh, it's a division that a lot of people are, are uh, aiming for that title, you know, and, and reaching for it. So anything can happen right now. So let's see. Were you surprised by what happened to him, you know, this most recent situation? Uh, I was surprised, so, but I think it's uh, too early to judge, any, judge anybody or anything. So let's see what, when all the, all the evidence and everything is on place and, and what's, uh, what's going to come out of it. Yeah, how's the training been for this one? You know, were you working with Jimmy and Alex and you know, the typical guys? Or was, since Jimmy just fought, was he not available? Or? Uh, well, you know, we're, Jimmy had a camp, so I helped him out for his fight before. And now after, he, he was ju just had a fight, so he was resting all the while. But uh, we always have a lot of people in All-Stars coming in and out all the time. So there's always fighters there to train with. How do you win this fight on Saturday? Uh, you know, I always go into to go for the finish, and that's what I'm aiming for now too.